Today we've come to the Digby Pines to meet with the Interim Operations Manager Val Stackhouse. This beautiful old lady was originally built in 1905 and it's had quite a varied history. It's been sitting looking overlooking the Annapolis Basin since then used during the war as a barracks but then after the war it was purchased by uh, Dominion Atlantic Railway and they owned it and they actually expanded from the original design to build this beautiful building that we see here on the right. Quite a grand lady if I do say so myself and then in 1965 the uh, province of Nova Scotia purchased uh, the Digby Pines and added it to two other uh, tourist operations that they owned. And then in uh, 2019, the province of Nova Scotia sold the Digby Pines to a new organization who have incredible plans for this building and this resort. So let's go talk to Val and find out what's new for the Digby Pines. Well, hi Val. Thank you so much for meeting with me today. Really appreciate you taking the time. Hi Nadine. Nice to be with you. Thank you. So Val, I hear that Digby Pines has some really exciting news. Oh, would yeah. you like to tell our viewers about it? I would be happy to. So we are now moving, well Digby Pines has new owners uh, that took over last December and uh, their vision is to turn the property into a year-round destination. So starting uh, 2021, um, once we open in, on May the 1st, we will no longer be closed uh, ever again. So. Wow, that is exciting it's and a big exciting. change. It is, huge change. So how do you envision that's going to impact the area in terms of economic development? Well, um, we are definitely going to be hiring more staff. Um, we're going to, again, summer times will probably be a little busier, so we'll we'll have a, um, a higher threshold of, of staff in the uh, summer times and high season, but we are going to be operating year-round, so that will also give us the opportunity to be buying our local produce and supporting our local suppliers uh, along with, with having more staff and um, hopefully generating more um, economic growth to the Digby area with people coming from, well, by then, who knows, hopefully all over the world um, to, to come to special events and things that we're planning at the Pines. And how long do you anticipate it will take Digby Pines to fully realize their, you know, sort of longer term goals? Oh, I think it's probably going to be two to three years uh, for us to just eventually, or not to eventually, but to grow the business to become year round. Um, nothing's going to happen overnight because first of all, we have to get the word out. Um, we have to develop more programs and more things for people to do in the winter months. So it will take some time before we actually, pro I would say probably three years before we start wow. to reach our full potential. That's great though. Three years. Yeah, That's hoping. very short term. We're hoping. And um, what are the first steps that you see yourself taking in the new year? Well, uh, first what will happen is the renovations to the property will, will be starting uh, in the new year. We need to winterize the building. Right now it's not winterized and so um, it wouldn't be very comfortable for people to be here in the winter. <laughs> really? And, uh, yeah. And we also need to winterize our cottages. We have 31 cottages. so. Uh, so that's the first step, and then we want to also do upgrades to, we're planning upgrades to the rooms to um, bring it up a step, I guess one would say. It's, it's um, you know, it's been a few years since it's had a little bit of a facelift. Okay. Sure. And when fully implemented, how many staff do you think you're going to have on board? Well, let's hope that, that uh, the world has changed. Um, I would think that in summertime we will probably cap out at, a, at about 200, anywhere from 100 to 200 will wow. be our year-round. Wow. So again, seasonally in the summertime when it's it's typically going to be a little bit busier for at least the first few years, I would say that we'll probably probably be around the 200 mark. And do you anticipate immigration being part of what you look to as far as recruitment? I think it's certainly something we're going to have to uh, to look towards. Of course, we'll focus first on on trying to employ anyone in our local area and in you know Nova Scotia and Canada. But I, I think we're going to have to fill a need um, from outside of our country um, as time goes on. Do you have any other plans that you want to share with us in terms of 
the future for Digby Pines? Well, I think uh, our new owners are, we, we sort of have five guiding principles that we're using. So one is to develop um, and showcase authentic experiences. So uh, we're, we're going to focus more on, on one of a kind experiences that people can do that they can't just go out and, and do anywhere. So that's working with local providers. And uh, so that's, that's one of our big mandates. Um, and we want to do a, a greater focus on more authentic local product, particularly culinary wise um, where you know we'll, we want to try be able to source everything that we can um, within a you know a, a 50 mile radius wow. or a mile radius if we can so that's also uh, one of our definite pillars uh, we want to focus more on health and wellness we feel that uh, that's something that the world needs now uh, so we'll you know we're going to put a lot of work into and in, uh, enhancing our spa facilities and uh, and just providing healthy choices on our menus and just a, a whole general health and wellness feeling. Um, and then we have a, a commitment to sustainability, so we're going to go as green as we can possibly go, um, which is good for our environment and extremely important and yeah, should absolutely. be easy in this part of the world to, to follow those guidelines. And then we're also going to embrace technology in a greater manner so that we have the tools to be able to implement all our pillars and, and to provide a better customer service. And um, I mean, technology is is where it's at right now. Yes, so. very true. Well, that sounds really exciting. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing all that You're with so us. You're so welcome. Really appreciate it. So stay tuned because we're going to have lots of new exciting local events in off season and um, watch our Facebook site. Great. It's going to be lots of fun. Thank you. You're welcome.